welcome to this uh, video in this video i will explain you how you can read the profit and loss statement of any company that profit and loss statement uh, is also called as income statement of a company and you can view the profit and loss statement for any company listed on the bsc or nec on the this website moneycontrol.com so if you go to this website you can uh, search for any quote and then on the left hand side you will find this financial section over there there is a profit and loss link click on that and you will be taken to the profit and loss statement of that company right now i am looking at the reliance communications profit and loss statement and over here you will find uh, that for each year they have got some numbers over here so normally it starts with the income that is the earnings of that company how much uh, money it has got uh, in terms of revenue so revenue from operations you can see that in march 2016 for this financial year they have got 11161 uh, revenue so you can notice that uh, revenue has been stagnant for this company and uh, that will be reflected in the stock price as well if the revenue is not growing stock price will uh, either stay at the same point or it will uh, go down so depending upon the market uh, or investors confidence in that company so you can notice that uh, the revenue of this company is uh, going down so which is not good for the stock investors then we have got this less excise service tax other levies then revenue from the operations is considered as 9974 because from the total revenue they have to deduct this uh, service tax or whatever taxes are there for in that particular country so 1187 uh, crores have been uh, deducted from this revenue and so the total revenue from the operations is 9974 for this company then other operating revenue is zero so total operations revenue is 9974 other income is uh, 321 so in other income uh, what it includes is like income earned by the company by selling its assets or uh, uh, like uh, like uh, doing some extra operations uh, which may earn company a income by selling these uh, holdings etc so the total revenue for this company is like 10,295 crores for this financial year so that is a part of uh, revenue so first part is like talks about the revenue of the company in this financial year then it starts the expenses now whatever company earns we have to deduct the uh, costs uh, from that to find the profit made in that particular year so the expenses section will show you the total expenses that have been incurred in that particular financial year so operating and direct expenses are 6961 then uh, employee benefit expenses 191 crores finance costs depreciation and amortization expenses and other expenses 715 so they have to calculate total expenses so for this company total expenses have been 11,919 crores so you can notice that expenses are more than the revenue which is again uh, not good for any company and over here you will notice at the end profit loss before exceptional extraordinary items and taxes so to calculate this number all you have to do is you have to deduct the total revenue from uh, from this expenses and the number is minus 1624 so this company is making losses and profit and loss before tax is this much 1624 and after taxes it is the same so you can notice that <coughs> at the end it is also showing the uh, like earnings per share so earnings per share are nothing but the earnings made by the uh, stock by each divided by each uh, share of that particular outstanding share of that company so the earnings are in minus so that uh, it's not a good uh, indication for the investors 
then important stores and spare indigenous stores and spares dividend and dividend percentage are also mentioned over here so that is how uh, you can uh, read the income and income statement or profit and loss statement uh, of any company for a uh, specific year note that uh, for uh, you to invest in the stock this uh, revenue has to be increasing every year at least it should not decrease and also the bottom line is also should be uh, like show significant growth so right now here you can see that the company's uh, profit loss for the specific period is in uh, negative number it means that company is making losses and uh, people usually avoid uh, buying such stocks and the stock prices of such companies usually tend to uh, nose dive every year year after year so that is how you can read the income statement of any company if you like this video hit like button